What is going on guys? Today is a new day. We're on the water. Uh, today we're fishing with Jason May again. This guy right down here. We're going to be fishing a lake that will be fished a ton during the winter time. It's one of those kind of lakes. It's, it hasn't really turned on yet uh, to like the extent that I know it's going to be. It's going to be on fire here in about a month. We're going to be fishing. Uh, we're going to try shallow first. We're going to throw in the top water, which we're going to kick it on here in a second. I just, we haven't really started fishing yet because the light is just coming up and it's real hard to film in this kind of conditions. So I'm gonna flip onto the GoPro, start throwing a uh, top water and see if we can get linked up with any kind of fish. Hopefully it's real soon. If not, we're gonna have to throw a Texas rig. That is the way we're going to start our morning here. Yeah. You've been stuck in a tree. We've had no luck. We've only been fishing for like, what, 15 minutes though? So? The water temp is probably 106 degrees, knowing this lake. We're going to work these top waters for another probably 20 minutes or so around this point. If we don't get nothing, then we're probably going to have to flip a Texas rig, see if we can start accumulating some good old fashioned bites. You fine? I think they're in that like 150 foot range right now. That's it's pretty key for, that's like a crucial area for bass. There's a lot of uh, sharks that live down there and they like to school up with those sharks. You know? Yeah, because the sharks will feed. Yeah, the sharks are feeding on little tiny bait fish. I like to just, just the tip. Just the tip. Just like the, oh yeah. Oh, we got first oh. fish? Is he on? Yeah. All right. Good, first fish. I'm sitting here still trying to rig up. Good job. There first we go. First fish of the day. Look, oh my gosh. Look at that, that short is a little fat fish. Fat fish, holy crap. Look how fat that dude is. Wow. <laughs> belly, look at that belly. That is hard to really actually, look how fat that fish is. <laughs> and this is how big he is, he's a small little baby. Wow. But big old stomach. Big old stomach. All right, he's throwing that same kind of bait. Yeah, he's throwing. The, he's basically throwing the darker version of what I'm about to put on. I mean, I should probably put on a. I have hooks. That's pretty ugly. That's pretty bad. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't. I don't have confidence in that. No. Yeah, if you don't have confidence. I don't have any confidence in that. So we're gonna we're gonna go back to a uh, a normal little four odd hook or three odd hook. All right, switch it over to a little four odd worm hook. I'm more way more comfortable throwing a brush hog or some sort of creature bait like this on a a worm hook when I'm dragging it on the bottom. I don't know, they always say confidence is key when it comes to bass fishing, so I'll just stick with what I know. Got him? Oh yeah, he's, the man, they, they must be stacked really up on that tree over there. Is that, that the first time, that's the, a, is that the same tree? That's the same tree I caught the other one off of. Okay. And then they've been biting on. That one's a little bit better than the first one. A little bit bigger, but not as fat. But probably, probably weighs the exact same as the first finding one. Finding something. Still a nice little fish. There you go. Uh, I guess you want to we'll focus more on those two trees then. Yeah. The water temp is 88 degrees where we're sitting. We kind of just thought we'd stick it out and see if we can get some, some bites. It's three degrees warmer than what it was last week here. So we're going to move more north, see if that helps the bite at all. There's one. You got one? Yeah. Still got it? Is it a better one? Or, uh, okay. Fish. And you are Not killing me. looking for though. No, you're killing me today. How warm is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, this <laughs> fish is so warm. Man, this is this is a uh, tough day of fishing. We're gonna we've been, we have changed locations probably five or six times now, trying to figure some sort of pattern out because these are not the kind of fish we're looking for. Those are too small. Biggest of the day for sure. Oh, biggest! That is the biggest of the day. That is the biggest of the day. A little bit downsized from yesterday, huh? I would say. It's close. It's close to a nine. This lake is very, very, very tough today. I'll tell you guys what. Holy crap!
So today on this lake was absolutely atrocious in comparison to last week. This is also a power plant lake. Uh, so if you're in Texas and you're thinking about fishing a power plant lake, I'd probably go find a different lake for the next couple weeks, especially since it's still going to be 90 degrees on Sunday. 90 degrees on Sunday and it's almost November, which is absurd. But we're going to go uh, back to the house. We're going to grab the boat because we're going to drop it off to get the Hello Kitty wrap done today. And uh, probably run around Fort Worth with the family a little bit. <sighs> Alright, we're back at the house. I want to show you guys something. Look what just came in. Look at this. It's freaking sick. It's gold. Gold plate or gold, uh, gold barrel. See that? Oh, it's sick. I got this one done as well in rose gold, but it didn't come out nearly as cool as I thought. But that's sick. Who doesn't want to have like a gold, a gold barrel? You know, when you pull it out, you're like, oh, that's sick. Well, now that that's done, been waiting on that for about two weeks. I'm gonna shower, we're gonna go to Fort Worth, we're gonna drop this boat off, because this is the last time you guys will ever see the Lunkers TV wrapped boat, which is kind of a sad thing. I think it's one of the sickest wraps in the entire industry, because everybody likes big, flashy, shiny wraps that look like billboards with a bunch of like crap on the side of it. Mine was like just slick, I loved it. Now it's about to have a big pink cat on the side. What are you doing? You have a tail? Oh. We're going to the zoo. And to drop the boat off like right now. You look ridiculous. <laughs> this is the last time you guys will ever see it look like this. This is it. Alright, boat's been dropped off. That's it. No more no more cup no more no more Lunkers TV wrap. It's uh it looks like we're gonna be going with Hello Kitty from now on. You get you guys actually the reason why. Remember we did that video with John saying if it got ten thousand likes we do it? Well the dang video got like thirty or forty or some absurd fifty thousand like some crazy amount of likes, so we're a man of our word. All of us are. Everybody pitched in, we all got it done, so Whew. well. Let's head off to the zoo because these, these these two look like cats for a reason. I still don't really know yet, but we're about to find out. Avery, what are you? You good? Oh, you know I still can't believe that it's it's what 80 80 degrees still in Texas. 80, 80, it's almost 90 degrees in Texas right now still. And it is, I don't even know what the date is today. Well, yeah, what is the date today? It is October 28th. It is not supposed to be 90 degrees in any state. Maybe Florida. But I'd rather it be a little bit, like, 20 degrees cooler. How are you? How you doing? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we're good. What you doing, Avery? Oh, she doesn't want you to hold on to her, huh? She wants to go in the... She wants to go in the bush? That's kind of weird. Messes. That's kind of weird. The lions. Oh, those lions are just getting it. So I think tomorrow I'm going to pick up the mail that I... I, I don't want to leave on Sunday to Chicago to meet up with John without picking up the mail that you guys have sent me because I'm pretty sure it's probably a bunch in there. So I, I just had to touch on that. So all you guys have been asking me, I know I've seen a lot of comments have been asking about the mail. I will pick it up tomorrow, I promise. All right, so the goals is they have I have these two pelican cases. These ones right here. Oh, right. That was dumb. Uh, I got to get the scar, my semi-automatic shotgun, and my Daniel's defense. I want to somehow configure them to go all kind of like you know I I love these guns. Um, these are all the guns that I have other than like bolt action. These are all semi-automatic guns. I'm probably gonna be buying a really nice long-range bolt action gun like really soon, but that's gonna have its own case. But these ones. I want, I need to configure this. I think I'm going to put the scar and the pistol together in one box and the shotgun 
and the M4 in another box. Oh, thank you, Musa. Man, that is it's one big hole. Thanks, buddy. I'm glad that we can count on you for digging some holes as he's just sitting there being lazy. Musa, what are you doing? You look, you kind of look like one of those lions I saw today. Everybody that's new to the channel, this dog is actually from Afghanistan. He's the one I brought back with me, so. Okay, so this was kind of what I'm thinking right here for the pistol will kind of do its own thing over here because it'll have a magazine in it, of course. It'll have like one underneath. The scar will have its own little deal, but I can just take the magazines, come and buy extra ones, and then just put them there, 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 that kind of a deal. That's the idea with this one. All right, here is uh, the other setup. The shotgun wouldn't fit. I lost my Sharpie. I have no clue where the hell the Sharpie went. It was either in that thing or this. My allergies are starting to kick up. Sarah wants to go eat food, so now we gotta stop what we're doing here. We gotta make sure she's good to go. We're gonna go eat food. We're gonna come back and chicken guns and chicken chips. God, I can't even speak. Guns and chicken chips. Jimmy will be over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got some use for this. This really good, uh, this good toilet paper right here. At least she was good for something, right? That's it. These allergies are kicking my butt. Like, bad. I'm about to go to sleep. I got a piece of chocolate cake to get fat too. I, how, what do I look like? It's messed up. That's it, these allergies. It's that time of year. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. You wanna punch the camera? Yeah. You got him? Oh, yes, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> that is <Let's> a. <laughs> yes. Oh videos. I personally am not impressed. I am a psychology major. Oh, okay. And I've talked with many military members. I also have family members who served in Afghanistan, and none I have come across has let their expressions drive their ego the way this guy does. Simply put, he is an attention whore. Samuel Jones, I waited over four years, four years to talk 